Oakland going to be primarily a man-to-man -man team, which gives Syracuse an opportunity. A takeaway on the first possession. First. And a steal and slam to open up things for the Grizzlies. The running backs. Oh, rejected at the rim. Oladapo thought he had a dunk. And Dolajai said no. Great find Gerard right there. Three. Pass it. Pass the foul. Is that never gives you an opportunity to win, especially when you're coming on the road to play. And in this dome, it's even more difficult. Great tap out to Hughes. He drills it. Definitely high enough above the rim to be able to dunk it. Just so much force, unable to get it to go through. Great second effort from the Orange. Hughes tries a jumper and knocks it down. It's a two. Hopefully we'll get a kick out of Jim <laughs> Beheim on the sideline. Well, you always do. <laughs> Hill Mays knocks it down from the free throw line that time. But Inside, that's where they found success. Dumped off. And Hill Mays puts it up and in. We can see a number of those being used already, but the biggest key is to make sure that they can make some shots. And once again, a steal and a score for Oakland. Quality minutes early in this game. You talk about a young man that's been a starter for the majority of the season for Oakland. As Buddy Beheim knocks down another three. But that's another one of those opportunities that you have to take advantage of. Oladapo within two feet of the basket, unable to finish. Buddy Beheim, he's given them a big boost. After he missed his first four threes, he's become red hot. The offense has come alive here. They go right back to Xavier Hill Mays, and he cashes it again. Guys like Hill Mays in the middle, and they're taking advantage of that when they get the basketball on the interior. Maddox triggers a three and hits it. Trey Maddox Jr. makes it a one-point game. What is it about number one continuing to go down? It's the fact that there are no great teams in college basketball this year. There are a number of good teams, and they're playing against each other. Coach Campy told him he would have caught one pass, because after he got hit, he was done. <laughs> Maddox simply told him, no, I would have ran out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Girard buries a triple. The problem has been getting the basketball in there and not turning it over, and there's another turnover as Girard lays out trying to... One second on the shot clock. He oh, it goes That's in. good. <laughs> that is, that Talk is good. Talk about an answered <laughs> prayer. Wow. Finger credit for hustling after the basketball, checking the shot clock, seeing that it's low, giving it a heave, and finding himself on SportsCenter tonight. <laughs> because of the play earlier. But regardless, that is one we could see on SportsCenter Top 10. They haven't handled the basketball. That's a, just an obvious turnover. I'm not sure how <laughs> Getterfinger thought he was going to get that basketball over the top of Edwards. Hughes, oh, a rock attack! Elijah Hughes rocks the rim for the Orange. Make a play like that normally about once a game, and we talked about him going to the mid-range. We know his three-point capability, and that time getting all the way to the rim. So Elijah Hughes is really showing off the full repertoire here in the first half. Finds a way to go in because you make the right play. A triple team, and that leaves Hill Mays wide open who cashes in. Like they could guard Syracuse, they just had to make some shots. Well, they haven't made a bunch of threes, but they have made a number of free throws, and that's really been the helping hand for the Golden Grizzlies. It's of 21 from three. Hughes, same spot, same result. Friendly roll that time, it does not fall for C.J. Gettlefinger. He had the oh, half-court shot hey. earlier, but a tough take. And the senior, Brad Brechting, muscles at home. Ten seconds separating the shot clock from the game clock at the end of this first half. Gerard hesitates, but hits. Great hesitation. Brad Brechting got two guys in the air and then cashed in. He's faithful on their feet, cheering on their team, getting involved, but you found success inside that zone, and once again, getting the ball inside on that interior. Dirk is now 0 for 5 from the floor to start this half. And you can hear the crowd just getting a little bit restless. That'll work. Everybody can sit down. <laughs> Buddy Beheim drills the three. The shot or the fact that they now get to sit down after standing for close to four minutes. 
That's Buddy's third three. Hughes a triple. It's good. Back to back threes for the Orange. Attacking, getting into the painted area, and then finding a teammate for the drive and kick three. Deep three from Maddox, and it goes. Trey Maddox, Jr. Three two, seconds two. on the timer. Off to the senior who puts it up. No good. Second effort. And it rolls around the rim and in for Xavier Hill Mays. Called evolving. Being a coach for 44 years at the same institution. His son on the floor right there, passing off to Hughes. Finds Dolajai inside and puts it up and in. On Saturday. So I'm not sure if they're going to get much help from anyone else in their program. As Dolajai gets back-to-back -back buckets off of another beautiful find by Joe Girard. Double team fights through it. Brad Brechting again. Is not many teams have a four man and a five that pass the ball as well as these two teams do, and someone that can play one on one inside that zone. Maddox one on four does not matter. Hoop in the harm for Trey Maddox Jr. Tapped out. Oakland offensive rebound. Hill Mays. He kept with it, put it off the glass, and cashed in. It's a four-point lead now for Syracuse. Oakland, Syracuse scoreless over the last three minutes. Dolajai trying to end that streak, and he does. Maddox, that's a deep three, and it goes begging. Hughes! from the freshman Quincy Carrier. Give him that lane to drive past him. You close out short, force him to shoot the three, especially at the end of the shot clock. The answer immediately, Blake Lampman, freshman for freshman firing shots. Then we'll take the three for the two in that scenario because that allows them to cut into this lead just a little bit more. Gerard, quick trigger, hits it. I'm sure a year ago had no idea that he would be having the opportunity to make plays inside the carrier dome against Syracuse. So Debe, the second effort, and he puts it home. Losses, Virginia, Oklahoma State, Penn State, Iowa, Georgia. There's not a bad loss on there. Yeah, sure, but the record's not what you want, but, but not many good wins either. <laughs> that, that is true. <laughs> to whether they play in the NCAA tournament or their NIT team this season. Uh, 74. 62 wins.